All right, so this is 2-7, day 2. Um, yesterday, we just we went over this one example. So we had the givens right here. Right, that tells us right here that we need to use the givens. Definition of congruence, really, it's just going from the congruence symbol to the equal sign. And then the idea that we can either use trans the transitive property to get to here or substitution that we should be good on. I want to talk about this proof. And then you can go on to do the 2 7 worksheet. So we have, it's just five, so let me just zoom in a little bit. So we don't have to worry about six here, that's a different proof. But just five is what I want to talk about. Um, so this A, the first statement says segment SU is congruent to segment LR, and segment TU is congruent to segment LN. This is just our given, that's our reasoning, is that it's the given. All right, tells us up here that happens. Definition of congruent segments, that's just this definition of congruence that I'm using. So we're just going to change this to be SU equals LR and TU equals LN. All right, so once we have that, we go to C. Now C, notice it says SU is equal to ST plus TU and LR equals LN plus NR. Now where did they get this from? This is our segment addition postulate. All right, our segment, so it's segment addition. addition. All right, the fact that ST plus TU is equal to all of SU. T, here's TU. So ST plus TU equals all of SU. That's from segment addition, the seg segment addition postulate. We can use that, okay? So that's where you would use this. That happens, same thing with LR. That's just down here, though. All right, so C is built off from segment addition. The way we go from C to D, notice now we have ST plus TU equals LN plus NR. What we did was substitution. All right. And what happened was, here is our equation SU equals LR. All right. Well, if we know that SU equals ST plus TU, we can substitute the right side, the ST plus TU, in for SU. So that's how we got ST plus TU right here. All right. LR equals LN plus NR, and LR, LR is right here we can substitute LN plus NR for LR right here. That is how we got this equation now, ST plus TU, which is equal to LN plus NR. All right, now this given right here, the TU equals the LN, this is where they did this next move. So E it now says instead of ST plus TU, it's ST plus LN. Well, what did they do? They substituted in LN for TU. What they're doing is they're setting up for this next move. This is a setup move for this one because now since there's LN on both sides, we can subtract LN on both sides using the subtraction property of equality. I know there's no numbers here, but you can still subtract the same thing from both sides using the subtraction property of equality, POE. All right, so instead of saying minusing four on both sides, we are minusing LN on both sides, which cancels out the LNs here, and this LN, and that negative LN, and you're left with then ST equals NR using substitution. Simplifying, right? We're just simplifying here. Your book uses that as substitution a lot as well. And then finally, we got, we're going from equal sign to congruence. That's just the definition of congruence. All right. Now, really, it's congruence segments. That's what your, your book likes to call it. I just call it definition of congruence to make it a little bit easier. All right. So the big, the big ticket items, C, how do we get C? How do we get those equations? Segment addition. 
the substituting in and kind of slowly working to a point where we can subtract something on both sides and it has to be the same thing. So we subtract negative, we subtract ln, and we subtract ln. This allows us to then have a substitution of just st equals nr. All right, so that's just the one proof that I want to go over today. Other than that, you can start the worksheet. If you have any questions, let me know um, on Thursday.